a really crazy life. That's me, hi. We have a blended family with five children. So we're super, super busy. There are my beautiful twins. I work from home. I'm an operations director at a health insurance company. Then I also do a lot of volunteer work from home, like we package up care packages for soldiers. We foster kittens for the Humane Society. Say hi! My dad was stationed in Germany, and he married a German girl, and they raised us completely German. And then, probably like around 15, they moved us back to the U.S. And so I came from a military background, and I married a U.S. Army major. There he is. Oh, hey. <laughs> He's home for two months, gone for three months, home for another two months, and gone for like 10 days. He's always kind of like off and on in the family. What I'm looking forward to most is that Katie walks away from this thing, and she's a hardcore rider, and, and I'm going to be the one to having to tell her that I don't feel like getting on the bikes this weekend. I think the Harley is going to give me an outlet to kind of just get out there and just have some fun and relax as well. I turned 30 last year, and there's like a whole bucket list of things I haven't done yet. I've always wanted to ride my own motorcycle and have control over my own bike. We really love the whole patriotic spirit of the military. I do this every weekend for the fallen soldiers. One of my biggest goals is to participate in the Patriot Ride. I've never actually seen a female rider along with the other Patriot riders, so that's a really big goal for me. Hi. Bashani, nice to meet you. This is my husband, Brilliant. Hi. Liz, Steve. I won the bike and I brought my husband Steve along. He's my best friend and I don't get to just really spend a lot of quality time with him so he's really deployed a lot. I'd like to welcome you to Hell's Harley Davidson in the Rider's Edge Academy of Motorcycling. I will be your rider coach for the next four days to make sure that you have a, a fun and safe uh, adventure while you're here. Ron, our instructor, was really tough, but I really, I was happy he was tough. When we apply our front brake, remember, it's contact, squeeze, and fingers down this way. I kind of felt like boot camp, like marine boot camp, how they slowly build you up until you're like really at a comfort level until you can really do it. All right, welcome to the range portion. Are you excited? The first day was a little bit rough. I was like, God, you know, I don't know if I can do this. You're really kind of starting to question yourself, and I was a little bit traumatized. After the first day, she was doubtful of her abilities, very doubtful if she can do it, and I tried to explain to her it's, it's normal. Most people go through it. I went through it. So just do the best you can, do the turns, you're still doing great. I guess I don't really get to spend a lot of time with him. Just spending a whole weekend together and going through such an experience was really kind of bonding. Trust me, you're doing great, all right? Okay. Yeah, man. He really was supportive and he always had like these awesome tips and just really lifted me up. So it made our marriage stronger. Day two, everything went really, really smooth, and I really got the basics down, and the bike, and I really bonded. When you think you really know somebody, they go and surprise you. So I'm starting to wonder, she's been feeding me a line all these years about how she's never ridden a motorcycle I'm or like anything. like a secret <laughs> agent. You can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> all right, end of the day, this is our skill evaluation. My Zen garden.
that the good news or the bad news? The class bad is news over. The class is over, and now you have to practice on your own. Okay? Aww. The good news is we had all passing scores. <laughs> Tomorrow is a really, really important day. It's actually the 10th anniversary of 9-11. We're going to be riding in a 9-11 poker run with about 3,000 bikes. And I'm so honored to ride in this event with all these amazing riders. The reason that you rode this ride today is because you're proud to be a United States American citizen. So I'm gonna go ahead and... It's really improved my relationship with my husband. He bought his own Harley. It's now something else that we can do that we couldn't do before. We can go more places, do more things. It's like a whole different chapter's being written that we weren't expecting. I like Katie's take on this, and I think she's breaking new ground. A year ago, she wouldn't have ever considered riding a Harley Davis. Now that she is, she's like, well, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it my way. I can be me and be on it and look fabulous on it and not have to change my girliness, my wearing pink, my rhinestones and my jewelry, anything. I can just be myself and be on this bike and make it what I wanna be.